Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alright, today my group will present about Top Glove Corporation Berhad and Harta Lega Holdings Berhad. So in this presentation, we will we will divide into four parts, which is first introduction and summary, second the data analysis, third uh, additional calculation, and for the last one is the, about the conclusion. Before we proceed more about our presentation, let me introduce our group's members. So for our first presenter, it will be me, which is my name is Muhammad Fauzan Bin Ramzi. Our, our second presenter will be uh, Nurul Shukrina binti Azban. Our third uh, presenter will be Lukman Al Hakim bin Suhaimi, and our last presenter will be uh, Shaliza Mazlina binti Zaini. Without wasting any time, let we go through the presentation. So, let's go! Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh so, My name is Muhammad Fawaz Abir Ramzi So, before we proceed to our presentation more details So, let me introduce about this assignment So, this assignment is required to analyze the capital structure of two companies that had been chosen from our group which are Hatta Lega, Holdings Berhad and Top Glove Corporation Berhad This assignment also required us to prepare a report to the board of directors of our board rooms companies using the latest financial report 2020 by using the research and analytical skills that had been developed in the class. As a result of the discussion together, we choose these two large companies because they are very much in line with the pandemic situation that is plaguing us. Okay, next I will explain about the summary of the both of two, two companies. So first, Harta Lega Holdings Perhad. Kuan Kam Hans is a Malaysian-based investment holding corporation. Harta Lega Holdings Berhad, headquartered in Kuala Lumpur, which is located in Malaysia. Harta Lega major concern of latex and natural glove manufacturing. Harta Lega was established in 1988 and produced 14 billion gloves a year, the largest natural glove manufacturer worldwide. It exports to the United States, Europe, Asia Pacific and the Near East. On 17 April 2008, Harta was listed on the main market of Bursa, Malaysia. The group has continued to produce a glove with a focus on efficiency and safety, a crucial reason why they are trusted as the original equipment manufacturer OEM. The corporation has 7,800 employees in eight specialized production plants. Harta offers a wide variety of high quality and essential safety items example neutral glove, rubber glove, operating glove and laboratory glove. Next, I will proceed to the summary of Top Glove Corporation Berhad. Top Glove Corporation Berhad founded in 1991 is Malaysia's largest glove maker. Top Glove only began as a small company with one manufacturing plant and one glove line today accounted first for 26% of the global rubber glove industries. Top Glove was listed on the Kuala Lumpur Stock Exchange, now it called as Bursa Malaysia in August 2001. In the span of a year, Top Glove Corporation Berhad listing was promoted from the second board to the main board on May 16, 2002. On 28 June 2016, Top Glove was also listed at number 9 on the main board of the Singapore Exchange. Meanwhile, for the latest, in April 2020, the company announced that it would manufacture face masks due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In data analyze, we have three components such as calculations of capital structure, alternative capital structure, and Explanations the change. In calculations of capital structure, capital structure describes the combinations of debt and equity used by a firm to fund its overall activity and development. There are four approaches that have been used to measure the company performance. First approach is operating income. Operating income refer to the amount of profit generated from company activity after deducting operating expenses. The total operating income for Top Glove Corporation Berhad in 2020 is 2108546000 while for Hatalaga Holding Berhad is 554186794. 
Next is net income. Net income is measured by subtracting revenue from cost of goods sold, selling, general and administrative expenses and other expenses. Total net income in 2020 for top glove is 1788830000. Y for Hatalaga is 4343973843. Third, earning per share. EPS calculated by dividing a company net profit by the amount of common share outstanding. EPS is a common metric for estimate corporation valuation because it shows how much money a corporation makes for each share of its stock. EPS for top glove is 69 cent per share. Y for Hatalaga is 30 cent per share. Last approach is written on equity. ROE is a term used in the management of equity or capital held with the aim of using a company profit in relation to the effectiveness of the company, which is ROE measure the profitability of a corporation in relation to stockholder equity. The total ROE for top glove is 56 point twelve percent why Hatalaga is seventy point eight percent alternative capital stuto for EPS and ROE this is capital stuto account for top glove and Hatalaga that we estimate from statement of financial positions that we increase net income for the alternative capital stuto EPS is important for all investors because it shows how much profit each ordinary shareholder earns. A high EPS means better value and buyers will pay more for a company share if they believe the company's earnings are greater than the share price. EPS is influenced by a variety of costs that can lead to improve in EPS. To improve the EPS, company need increase their profit. This is the result when we increase the profits. EPS for top glove is 75 cent per share, while Hatalaga is 40 cent per share. Profit are the numerator of the return on equity ratio. Increase profit on equity increase the company return on equity. There are multiple ways to increase profit and you do not necessarily have to sell more product. They may also result from increase the price of goods and services, reducing the cost of product sold, lowering operating costs or emissions of the tree. The total ROE for top glove is 61.74% while Hatalaga is at 80.87% Explanation of the changes First, operating income The value of top glove operating income Four percent higher after alternative higher than without alternative fifty six point twelve percent. Her Talaga Holding Bright earns ROE eighteen point eighty seven percent higher after alternative higher than without alternative seventeen point zero eight percent. Thank you, Sukrina, for the explanation. Now I will continue about the additional calculation. 
Firstly is value of the firm. Value of the firm is basically the sum of claim of its creditors and shareholders. Okay, from the slide we can see that the value of the firm without that for top glove is 70 billion, 4 million 476,000 ringgit, and for Hartalaga is 1 billion 207 million 754,810 ringgit, and for the value of the firm with that. Top glove value is seventy two billion five hundred nineteen million five hundred fifty seven thousand ringgit, and for Hartalaga is one billion nine hundred seventy eight million five hundred and fifty five thousand and four hundred fifty eight ringgit. Next is value of equity after market capitalization. Value of equity represents how much investors think a company is worth today. Okay, for top glove, the value is 71 billion 184 million 557,000 ringgit and for Hartalaga is 232 million 798,776 ringgit. For the cost of equity after market capitalization, it represents the compensation, the market demands in exchange of owning the assets and bearing the risk of ownership. We will use the formula of CAPM to get the amount. And for the top glove is negative 2.23% and for Hartalaga is 9.29%. Next is weighted average cost of capital after market capitalization, which represents the average rate of company expect to pay to finance its assets. Okay, for top glove, the amount is 419,676,131 ringgit and 60 cents, and for Hartalaga is 103,554,458 ringgit. Next, how is company financing its assets? Okay, there are two ways to finance the assets. The firstly involve company using financing to secure the use of assets including equipment, machinery, property and other capital assets. A company will be entitled to full use of the asset over a set of period of time and will make regular payment to the lender for the use of the asset. The second variation of asset financing is used when a company looks to secure a loan by pledging the assets they own as collateral. With a traditional loan, funding is given out based on the credit worthiness of a company and the prospect of its business and project. There are five types of asset financing which include higher purchase, equipment lease, operating lease, finance lease and asset refinance. The next question is, are the manager company generating an adequate operating profit on the company's assets? Firstly, we will use operating return on assets, which indicates the level of operating profits relative to the firm's total assets. For the top glove, the operating return on assets is 29.37% while for Hartalaga is 14%. Second, we will use the operating profit margin, which examines how effective the company is in managing its cost of goods sold and operating expenses that determine the operating profit. For the top glove, the operating profit margin is 39.37% while for Hartalaga is 21.63%. Third is total asset turnover. This is ratio measure how efficiently the firm is using its assets in generating sales. For the top glove, the total asset turnover is 74.59% while for Hartalga is 64.68%. Lastly is fixed asset turnover. This ratio measures how efficiently a firm is using its assets in generating sales. For top glove, the fixed asset turnover is 147% while for Hartalaga is 85.98%. That's all from me. Now I will pass to Shaliza. My name is Shaliza Maslina bin Tizaini. My metric number is T2018108186 Factors that may affect current and future performance First, trust 
At every level of the organization, insist that workers understand the importance of keeping their word and living out values. Second, deceiveness. Firm need to make decision properly instead of waiting for every last piece of data. An imperfect decision that can correct later is almost always better than a right answer that comes too late. Third, competition. Firm need to study the market and get to know everything about other rivals in the same industry in order to compete. Fourth, records. Firm must recording all activities and transactions. Good records help firm preserve ideas, establish credibility and proof point when the facts are unclear. This applies to finance, employees, ideas and everything related. Fifth, network. Build relationship and connection with many people for ideas, opportunities and collaboration in and out of the industries. Six, patience. Establishing a habit of slow but steady success will build everyone's confidence and minimize risk. Seventh, risk. Sometimes, firm must simply take a risk to move forward. With all the other factors solidly established, should be in position to predict potential success. Lastly, optimist. Maintain a positive attitude rather than an outlook of impending doom. The future looks brightest for those who look for the bright side. Conclusion Both companies have strong potential in market and good capital structure but have their own strengths and weaknesses to overcome. Next, managers should also be wise in choosing the financial of their company's asset based on business model. Other than that, improve the company's performance in terms of sale and position in the market by adopting several factors that can lead to development. And lastly, companies have to do more proactive strategies and actions in order to have good capital structure. That's all from our group. Thank you.